What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Death Staffle bringing you another Destiny 2 gun review. Today, I'll be reviewing is the Centrifuge Auto Rifle. Four screw rifling, slightly increased range and stability, slightly increases handling speed, and parallel mag for increased mag size. Regenerated movement printing gradually reloads this weapon. Handling stock, increased stability for its exotic trait. Overcharge capacitor printing sliding and firing this weapon builds a temporary electrostatic charge. Increasing the range and reload speed. On the blows with the high charge cause explosive and maximum explosions lines target. You can change this weapon straight from the season of the deep battle pass on level 35. No more delay. Let's get right into the video. Boy, hello everyone. Your boy Dash Dapple. Alright, now let's get on to talk more about the centrifuge. First off, this weapon is sitting at a night whopping damage of 29. It's in the cruise. And on Guardians, this weapon does a total of 35 to the head to, I forgot what the body shot damage. Let me say 19. This weapon is more of a, this weapon is made for strictly long range engagements. Not long range engagements, but say like mid, mid range. Yes, definitely mid range. Not from up close. Definitely not up close. You, you will struggle a lot, but in its mid range, it's the king. This thing does a lot of trucking damage. Its range is set. The range that we're looking at this bad boy is at 47. The stability is around 65. And the handling is around 82. Below speed sitting at 40. Aim assist sitting at 55. And its zoom magnification is 16. While airborne effectiveness is 25. And that it's really good. I would not recommend you guys go use this in PvP. Would definitely use this with PvE. I would recommend you also if you guys want to try it. I recommend you guys some good exotics along with this. Quick draw gauntlets is one of the what one of the exotics you want to also be paired for this. But on another one is transverse steps. Um, any arc ability, any exotics that's more, more like like arc base. This weapon is really good and like helps generate a bunch of not arc souls but um, ionic traces. I never really got a chance to use the weapon at its full potential when i'm moving actually never mind no it is good because i'm moving a lot like right here and i'm shooting so i will rate this weapon overall funness i would say average but it's elite um for a battle pass weapon i say it's average and it's fun to use would i recommend you guys buying this mm, i recommend you guys go on like wait up before you pay for it just honestly i'll lock it and get it for free when I tell you guys to buy this, save your money. Now, enough of me ch chatting. Let's just get back to parts what I'm reviewing. Now, is this man gonna stop hiding around this corner? No, man, I'm getting chased down and shot at because this man can't literally. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna pop this really early because we wait any later, he's gonna do some crazy stuff. What did I told you? Now one, I can't just wait on using my well. I have to use my well a little early because I'm noticing now I die so much in that well. What? I like how each time I get a kill, it literally blows the person up. But that's only happening thanks to a overcharge conductor. Once you charge it, once you charge it up, you pretty much can turn somebody into an like an arc explosion. Sending off a nice good blind effect. Radius is not really big in PvP. But it's PvE, yeah. Wait, is it PvE? Of the strong suit is more likely like PvE than PvP. Good, at, good at taking down like ad. So good to pretty much clearing out ads. But in PvP, but PvP, wouldn't mess around. Wouldn't mess around with. The RPM of this weapon is straight up hitting at a nice good 40 foot or um what's it called 450. Record direction is 90, so it okay, tilts a little bit to the right. But honestly, thanks to it, thanks to um, what's called, thanks to a couple mods you can slap on, it should be able to, to pretty much hold its own, and you don't have to worry about the recoil jumping all around. Now, is this guy gonna really sit in the corner? Yeah, this dude is gonna really sit in the far back, bro. All right, I'm pulling this man up. Yeah, you ain't running over that to right. Also, teabag strafing, I'm noticing, really helps out these gunfights with ease. 
Oh, you got one dude coming from the spawn, and then you got the other guys coming out. And no, 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 no. All right, we got him off. What is that? Guardian rank. I will check that out later. Another time. As come on, I just want the kill. I just want the kill. Nothing else. I just want the kill. So honest. It was okay. Um, these guys fighting? Oh, I nope, nope, nope. Oh, yes, crisis inverted. Yeah, I'm not fighting that. And that dude has a pretty much. Oh, he has that arc sniper, the one that pretty much headshots you, and pretty much. And you're running, immortal. Guys, do not take on immortals at all with this. I made to take that on. Honestly, I'm just getting lucky and taking down these mortals, and luckily you don't have a bunch of good range on them. Oh, man. Not gonna find me here. Oh, wait, hold on. I haven't seen what it does with Radiant so far. Cause I try to get it, but half the time he would be already like dead weak or like that. Oh no, you know you're not gonna just rob my kill and just get away with it. And bro is trying to pull up. Hey, <laughs> get away. let me get this one, please, please peek me. I said, please, I said the magic word. You can peek me now. I'm just going to keep the architecture up. Oh, there you are. Hi, how are you? What if I come by and steal this kill? Oh, he's trying to run. No, you're not running. Three kills all around. Come here. Hey, come here. Feels like ring around the rosy. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, never mind. Thank God I didn't took you head on. Because that would have been my fate. And now I got somebody behind me. Come on, man. I got somebody here. I can't waste. Ooh. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. I'll take it. Come on, 